We're here today in beautiful downtown Santa Ana at the historic Maine Library, christening a new one-stop higher education center. Now our community has one place where parents can come to find out more about how to help their children go to college. Where young people can come to learn how do I pay for college and what college or university is right for my career goals. Also, mothers and fathers, working men and women can come here to find out how they take the next step in their education, whether they need to finish high school, whether they finished high school and they want to start a career training program in college, or whether they are ready to go to the university. Here in the city of Santa Ana, our motto has always been education first. This particular component of the library will connect people, no matter what your age is, to kind of broaden your horizons with uh, thinking about going on to uh, continuing your education in college or the universities whether it's Santa Ana College or Chapman University or Cal State Fullerton and UC Irvine or Harvard or uh, an Ivy League school or USC, it doesn't really matter. We want to just uh, let people know about their choices and how, how you go about going into higher education. When I think about one of the leadership schools at our board, uh, which is that we want to see at least one college degree in every Santa Ana home. And this center now is going to be part of the pathway to, you know, towards that goal. Uh, you know, I also think about you know young people, and I think, what's the best gift you best gift you can give to yourself, or the best gift you can give to your family? That's a college education. Nothing more important for your life and the lives of people around you than a college education. So I'm real proud, real proud to be here on behalf of the the board here with our, our colleagues we have some few words as well. Let's give everybody a round of applause for making this day. This place will be not just for our young people like that young man, but it will be for everybody, people who want to return to university, who didn't finish their degrees. Maybe they got married and they stopped, now they want to go back um, because they, they can be a better mother or a better father for their children if they're educated. It will be a great place for people who have lost their jobs, who want to go to school and get retrained for something else. It will be a great place for people who want to learn English better or learn math better or particular um, you know, certain types of courses. So this will really be for the entire community. You know, here in uh, our community, we have excellent partnerships between the city of Santa Ana, Santa Ana College, uh, the College District, UC Irvine, Cal State Fullerton, and from time to time, we'll collaborate on grants uh, that will help us start up a big new initiative like this. And so we've been, uh, you know, pleased and honored to receive some of those funds, and uh, you know, the community came together to make this happen. You know, the key to American success or the American dream starts with education. And in the city, with uh, as the first population that we have in a Latino base of nearly six to, uh, 57,000 student bodies, we need to ensure that they get a quality education and a path to higher education, because that will break poverty, that will break any other barriers that exist. It starts right here in the library, it starts right here with education, and opening up a brand new uh, College Center is just going to give more students opportunities for their dreams. Um, I'm really excited about the opening of the Higher Ed Center because I've been volunteering at the libraries ever since I was in seventh grade and eventually that gave me the opportunity to apply to the Bill Gates Millennium Scholarship which I got thanks to the library again and thanks to letters of recommendation from mentors here at the library and because of that I have free schooling all the way up to a PhD and I would like to be able to make that happen for as many people as possible. I've been working in the teen space since summer of 2011, running the scholarship program, and ever since that time we've had a lot of scholarships and we've had three Fulbright scholarship winners. I think the community would benefit from the Higher Education Center because I think ours is a community that is really deficient in information about colleges. A lot of the parents in our community haven't had any experience with college, and so I think just making it available through a public library, which is a resource that people use as it is, would make it a lot easier for people to get into and stay in college. Here, we have a higher education center, free for everyone in our community. Let's take the next step.